Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm going out for a solo camp and there's some horrific weather coming. There's going to be heavy rain, probably snow, severe gales. So I'm going way up onto the tops to camp in my little tent and see if I can survive it. So I've got a feeling this is going to be a rather epic camp guys. I've got a pretty brutal climb, 1000 meters or so up, take me about three hours. Packs fully loaded, 20 kilos, which is about 45, 50-ish pounds. <laughs> so it's gonna be a brutal climb, it takes about three hours. But I'm here super early, it's only quarter to nine. So I'm gonna try and beat the storm up to the top and get set up before the worst of it comes in. But it's gonna start raining soon, so I'm gonna have to put the big camera away and just push hard up the mountain. But I'm really looking forward to it, it's going to be a good camp. I think this one might be an instant classic, but better carry on and I'll see you guys when I'm back up at the time. Thanks for tuning in, it's going to be a good one. You can see the time about half past 11. And I'm up, the weather came in, so I had to put the big camera away, I'm on the GoPro. But the last hour of walking was rather miserable, soaking wet. But I'd be wet anyway because just pushing so hard and sweating, you can just see me dripping. But got to collect water and I've got to really get moving quick because if I stay out in these conditions um, with the wind and the wetness and the cold, I'll be done for. So collect water from the tarn and we head over to camp, get some warmer clothes on, set tarp up and make shelter. That was a slog up guys, it's hard work, tell you what. Got my water, got about four litres from the tarn. That should do me, but I can always walk back later on and get more if I have to. The weather's just it's starting to come in as I was filling my water bottles, big sheets of rain, and I'm starting to get cold. So I really gotta get into the trees and get shelter up and get warm, because this is not looking good. So, Come back to you hopefully with a rain jacket on guys, guys and girls, but holy cow, it's rough up here. Alright, I've made it up to camp, I've got my rain jacket on, you can see it's a new one. I've also got this alpaca beanie. I took my thermal off, it's hanging on the tree there, and I just got a synthetic that I chucked on quickly over top. So, I'm not cold, but I'm still soaking wet in the legs, but I want to get the tent set up, I'll probably configure it in a different spot than I usually do in this this location. I've camped here two times before. So I want to have like a different lookout and I've got a different tent so it doesn't have the side door. So I'm going to get my pack over there, get the tent set up. As you can see and probably hear from the audio, the rain's coming in super heavy. But made it just in the nick of time and things are looking good. So get the tent up, get shelter made, tarp up, get the contents of the pack out and go from there. Coming in, it's getting rough. Look at that, shelter. Okay, I'm gonna get the tent up and then I'll probably rearrange it a bit to get it perfect. That's good for now. I got the Nemo tent, so I'm gonna pitch this up. The door will face out that way and I'll have to sit side onto the tent. But this thing's pretty cool, but it does limit how you can pitch a bit. So I'll get this up. The rain is just, it's so loud, it's nuts.
got to get some of the stuff into the tent now. That was a brutal setup. It's hard work. I need a coffee. Okay. All the stuff is inside. I'm so wet. All right. I'll get my ear mat going. I'll get my quilt out and then I'll get a cup of coffee on. I'm so in need of a coffee. I put all my clothes inside this dry bag, even though I had the cover on just because it was going to be so wet. Didn't want to get my, my little anemic quilt wet, otherwise I'd be screwed. This probably won't be warm enough for tonight, but I've got my rab jacket, which I'll wear as well. So that's the setup inside the tent. Holy cow. It's coming in. And I'm sitting in a puddle. I have to make a stream through here. There's a river running through my campsite. <laughs> This is insane. Way too much rain. Far out. Some serious thunder and lightning coming through the campsite. Oh my god. This is crazy. This is literally crazy camping. I get this coffee on and I've got some scones. Oh this is nuts! the V60 and I've got some delicious scones that Victoria made up last night and I'll tell you what I really really need them this is crazy camping in these conditions you guys would have heard that thunder massive massive bursts of lightning super loud thunder just booming over the campsite and this rain, it's just relentless. This is going to be a rough, rough camp. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to have this. I've got a few more things to sort out. And then I'll come back to you guys.
gonna have to put some more guy lines on the tarp because it's just going everywhere. been in the tent and I've got changed I've got my down jacket on underneath and this new raincoat which is working real good this weather is absolutely horrendous these are the most extreme conditions that I've camped in massive wind gusts just the driving rain and my um, my microphone battery is flat so I'm charging that in the tent and I'm using the shotgun on the camera but I brought the tarp down and now I've got shelter and it's not blowing around so much so I'm okay. You can probably see there's a full on river running through the campsite. Not a good pitch but I need to chill out and relax. My body hurts. I might take an ibuprofen and have another hot drink but this is just crazy. Thumbs up and subscribe for extreme weather camping. Because that's why you clicked on the video and that's what you're getting. <laughs> this new beanie, well it's not new, I had it when I was a kid. I found it in an old bag. Look at this, warms your cheeks up. It's real nice, it's real good. Holy cow. I just had some hot and spicy noodles and I got roasted in the comments in one of the other videos because I put heaps of water all over them and drank it like a soup. And I know you're not supposed to do that and you roasted me, fair enough. So I'm sorry for ruin ruining your country's signature dish, but this time I did it properly. The rain is absolutely non-relenting. My feet are wet because water got into my pants and went down into my socks. So I'm squelching around on my feet. Got a trench of water just running right through here. And there's no there's no um, end to this heavy rain in sight. So I suppose that's why I came up here. I wanted a storm. But I kind of wish I wasn't in such a swampy campsite. But it is what it is. I think I'm just going to sit out this rain, see if it eases a bit. And then I might get firewood if it calms down a bit. The rain has kind of eased a bit, but not really. But I'm gonna take the opportunity to get some wood, I think. And I have a new saw. This beast. It's a new Silky. Super Acel. It's got bigger teeth. And it's longer, and it weighs less. So let's go get some wood.
Alrighty, I'm going to try to get this fire going. They've got lots of wood, but this, these twigs are really wet. So, there might be a bit of a struggle. And the rain's come back. I need to chill out after this. This is a big chunk. Should be enough. See if that can do it. The fire's going pretty good now. You can see I've stacked the logs up so the air can kind of get in and the bigger ones can dry. And it's putting out some pretty nice heat. Like, I've still got some big fat ones there but there's so much wood in this little box that I've made. It's just gonna burn and burn for ages. But I got a cup of tea on. I'll have that and I've got some biscuits, guys. Thank you for all the recommendations on the previous video. I think the top ones were hobnobs, uh, digestives, and cream, cream somethings. I've had the hobnobs once, McVitie's like OT hobnobs. I didn't like them because when I dunked them, everything just fell apart. I had the digestives, I love those, but this time I've got something new. I've got Jaffa cakes. So I'll have some of those. I'll probably eat the whole box with a cup of tea. And then I think I'll be on to the whiskey. And it's not Talisker this time. I've got Maltrich. I don't know, it's a 16 year old, 16 year age Scotch whiskey. So that should be delicious. I'll try to remember the name. It's Malt something. Man, I should know that. But look at these, Jaffa cakes. They're quite unusual. They got chocolate on the top. A nice tarty orange center, and then a nice biscuity base, kind of like a cake. Mmm, they're good. Oh. Mortlich single malt 16 year. I was right. Cheers everyone. Smoke's coming through and it's getting freezing cold. It's real cold. Ooh. 
The temperatures plummeted as this big rain front came through. The cold air in behind it, just dropping it down so quick. I got quite cold before. I got up, jumped around, did some star jumps by the fire, stoked it up, just gave it some air. Now it's going real good and I'm warming up. This Mortledge whiskey, this is divine this stuff. So spicy, zingy, it's kind of nutty. It's very, very nice. Very, very much enjoying this being out by the campfire but yeah i think i'm just going to relax for a bit have this and then i'm going to have the wagyu burgers for dinner they're going to be delicious it's got brioche buns cheddar cheese it's going to be absolutely succulent so just to relax in the rain keep myself warm and have this whiskey cheers everyone hope you're enjoying the camp and Smash the thumbs up for those insane thunder and lightning set up shots. I came up for the storm and I got the storm, so I hope you guys are enjoying it. And I'll come back for dinner. This is going to be so nice. Get my Heinz ketchup all over it. Oh no, I got sauce on my fingers. Double cheeseburgers times two. And then I'm going to bed. Look at this, double cheeseburgers by the fire. I might need to apply some more sauce to the top layer. It's all sticking. Put a bit more in there. Oh, the cheese is all caramelized. All right guys, the alternate camp burgers. Cheddar. Mm. They're so juicy. Honestly, nothing beats these burgers. Everything's good when you buy the fire, you have your setup, and you got your burgers, and you're just camping. Mm. I mainly do it for the food. A little bit of rain's come back. Mm.
This fire is so hot. I am sitting in like a, a trench. It's just mud. I'm going to get trench foot. <laughs> Look at the water coming through. But the fire's making me feel good. Just being able to see it lifts my spirits. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to indulge in these burgers. You don't want to watch me eat. <laughs> and I'll come back to you guys afterwards for some Jaffa Cakes and tent tour. But, thanks for coming everyone. Finally, it's getting dark. It's spring in New Zealand. October, end of October. So, it's a lot lighter than it is in the middle of winter. I actually don't really like it. I like camping when it's dark, early, and you get that kind of nice, cozy, ambient feel of the, the darkness engulfing you and your little fire glowing. But, yeah, it's about eight o'clock. Cleaned up dinner. The wind has kind of died down, so the fire's just putting out so much beautiful heat on me. I've kind of, I've completely dried out, which is really nice. You see this? It's my new head torch. This new little Phoenix head torch. It's lighter than my other one, and it's really nice. Got this little adjustment thing at the back, a little dial. I think it's for trail running. But I'll put a link into the description for this torch. It's real cool. Rechargeable battery as well, it's nice. But I think I'll tidy up, let my fire die down a bit, and I'll probably get into bed because it's cold and I've finished all my jobs. I'm filthy. The vestibule in this tent is tiny. It's not exactly good for this style of camping. Turn my head torch off. Having a side door is so much better. But I'll be toasty warm in here. <clears throat> Can't wait to get into bed. I got wet feet. Put some dry socks on and my Full merino skin layer. It's gross. Hey, look how cool it is inside this tent. This is the, the Big Agnes Zoom UL insulated pad. Very comfortable and light, and it should be warm enough. I got the Cedar Summit pillow. And I have my 30 Fahrenheit negative one quilt tonight for the snow, so, you know, could be a little bit risky. But this tent's awesome, like, look at the room. Like once it's pitched and you're inside it, it's a real cool tent. But as you've probably seen when I was setting it up, for these type of conditions, it's a bit of a nightmare. But we make do. This beanie thing was cool too. I really enjoyed it. Let me know if you like this thing. The color of it kind of matches my ginger beard. I also got this. This is a new Merino. So it's the same as my Long John's. It's a 200 Merino wool base layer. So I'll put that on when I go to sleep. I've just got my synthetic thing on at the moment. This thing's really nice. Kind of a lifesaver when you're wet and moving around. Keep that warmth when it's damp. So it's a great, it's a great little option. It only weighs 150 grams too, so it's pretty nice. That's a big air vent, which I've got open. I can zip that up. But I'll let some airflow come through. And this is the UGQ quilt. I should be warm in this. Worst case scenario, I can put my rab jacket on. But yeah, the tent's not very big. It is, you could probably just fit two people in here, but it would be pretty miserable. The vestibule is tiny, but, 
that's probably enough from me. Um, I might go to bed unless something crazy happens over the night, which it probably will. Um, I'll see you in the morning. If not, I'll be nighttime filming some epic snow dumps. But yeah, see what happens and catch you soon. <laughs> Good morning everyone, it's about quarter to six and it's freezing cold. I just woke up, I had a pretty good sleep but I kept getting woken up in the night by howling winds and I could just hear snow hitting the tent. I haven't had a look outside yet but it's so cold I can definitely tell that there's going to be a decent little amount of snow. So I'm having a little investigation outside I think but what I might do is have a coffee from bed. It was quite cozy in here. Lucky I had the down jacket on to sleep with, otherwise it would have been a freezing cold night, but the pad did well and all in all, a pretty good sleep. So we'll have a look, little look through the tent door, see what the snow situation's like. Uh, and then get a coffee on I think. This is going to be a bit tricky, but I reckon I'll be able to do it. You can see snowflakes coming down. It's pretty cool. I'm going to get this coffee on while I lie here in my quilt. Then, then I'll get up. But it's still snowing pretty good now. That's rather cool. Whoa. Oh, I need this real bad. I've seen Tony from AB Camping in his last video down at the stream going on about cowboy coffee and how there's no need to have a filter. You don't need a filter. You just pour the coffee on, the water on. And it's fine. Well, I'll let you in on a little secret. Tony knows jack shit about coffee. But it's okay. I'll forgive him. <laughs> it's going to be brutally cold winds when I get out of the tent. <clears throat> and I burned all my firewood. It's a bit windy for a fire anyway. I wouldn't do anything. You can see the light starting to come up through the trees. There's not heaps of snow, but there's a decent little dusting. That is some really cold wind. There's ice coming down in front of the camera, kind of blowing into the tent. Oh my goodness. This is a great morning, bro. Came up for snow, you got the snow again. I'm the snowman. Mm. Mm.
Oh no. Look at the state of my chair. <laughs> oh. oh. The foot came off. I've lost one of the feet. Buried in the mud. All right. Things just keep going wrong on this camp. The little plastic foot that goes onto the bottom of my chair fell off in the mud pit. <laughs> Gathered up a few sticks. Might just chuck a fire starter in there. See what it does. Right, I'm gonna cook some bacon and eggs. <laughs> the pan's just <clears throat> it's full of snow. Oh, what a morning. A little fire. It's not gonna be putting out much heat. Well actually it was making me steam just before, but it just adds a beautiful ambience. It's nice to sit here and be able to see it. We'll get some bacon on. I have brioche buns, I'm not sure if I'll eat them. Maybe just the bacon and eggs. <clears throat> whole pack of bacon. Well, a whole Ziploc bag. It's gonna be scrumptious. Maybe I'll just eat the bacon. Nah, I'll eat the eggs too. The smell of that sizzling bacon is incredible. This whole area is just full with bacony aromas. It's so misty. Well, it's like snow clouds out through the trees up onto the tops there. And all around me, actually. Nice wee dusting came through. Bacon sandwich. I think I have one bun. Looks about done. My little fire's just struggling. Man, it's cold. Alright, look at this. <laughs> Bacon. In. How am I going to get this egg in? It's going to be a mess. And we cannot forget the most crucial ingredient. A ton of Heinz ketchup. Oh. I've got to give you a close up. This is one stacked sandwich. Hopefully you can see that. I'm not sure. Oh man. Mm. Oh. Divine.
Look at these. Completely frozen guy lines. This is just misery. <laughs> Tarp probably weighs like two kilos now. Absorbed all that water and ice. I need to get a Dyneema one. <clears throat> it's lighter, stronger, and doesn't absorb water. It's like the perfect material for tarp. Now for the frozen guy lines. I mean, look at this. That's, <laughs> that's just ridiculous. I'm just gonna stuff them in, and I'll deal with that at home. Oh. oh man. The blizzard's coming in. <sighs> Gotta get all my stuff back in the bag. I've got everything out of the tent and the snow has decided to come in pretty heavily for pack up. <laughs> oh man. I'll zip this up. Get the rest of the stuff in the bag and then I'll take the tent down. Holy cow, it's like a blizzard. Oh, it'd be kind of nice to stay another day, sit out in the snow. Not in this bog spot though. This is the most ridiculous place to pitch the tent. I don't know what I was thinking. It's way better to camp under the trees on that side of the clearing. It's all freezing. Wow. Alright, put the tent on. Oh, the buckles. Sweet. Oh. Alright, I'm going to put the big camera away and I'll come back on the GoPro for the walk out. It's going to be glorious. It's like the frozen wasteland. All right, got to make it across the tussock and back into the trees. Oh, what a night. It's rough up here. This is a harsh place. I know you guys sitting at home watching, you're probably like it's cold, but I tell you what, it's just brutal up here. Just look around. The wind chill now. It's probably like negative, I don't know, negative 10 or something. Still snow coming in. I gotta make my way over there. 
Ah, gotta get into the trees. This wind's killing me. Ooh. Looks like the snow came down pretty low. I'll try to show you. See over there. Still snowing now. Walking through the winter wonderland with snow falling. Not as much on the trees as the earlier videos this year in the middle of winter, but it's quite special to be here when it's actually coming down. It's nice to be up and moving though. To be honest with you, that camp, that tent, it's just not suited for what I'm doing and it made everything much harder than it needed to be. So, lesson learned. Don't pitch in a mud pit and get a more suitable tent for these type of conditions. This rain jacket though, did really well. Headlight was cool too, didn't really get a chance to use it much, but yeah, everything was pretty good, but it was hard work this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. But I'll head on down the trail and we have an infamous, notorious mountain camper still sulking in his tent, known as AB Camping. So I think I'll come across him and we'll see what he has to say about his experience. <laughs> but I'll come back to you guys when we're with Tony. So I'll see you soon. The snow's coming in pretty heavy. Had to put my hood on. It's building up quite nicely on the trees now. Oh man. <laughs> Thanks for the scone, Victoria. Tony's doing the outro. Let's go. <laughs> Abel talked me into coming up here and he said it would be awesome. You're going to love it. <laughs> I'll never listen to a ginge ever again. Yeah, it was the worst camp of my life, I'm not gonna lie. Complete disaster. And there's things I didn't even tell you guys about, so. Oh. We'll be back for another one. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's the vid, guys. See you next time. Holy cow! The hailstorm coming in. <laughs> wow. Oh, I know. These are the conditions that we go camping in. And it's even brutal down here. Oh man. Anyway guys, I've got about an hour and a half left driving home, and that's that. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a tough camp, but we did it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.